Hi, hello, good morning students. I am Pavan, your science teacher. Students, uh, in this video, I am going to talk to 7th standard students. Uh, I didn't mean that only 7th standard students to see this video, watch this video and to get knowledge out of this virtual video class. Uh, everybody can watch this video and get some knowledge out of this virtual video class. Okay students, I hope you all watch this video and get something uh, knowledge, you get some knowledge out of this video. Okay students, uh, in this video, you know, before getting into the concept uh, that I would like to share some points that I what we have talked in the previous class. Students, did you remember that what we have talked in the previous classes? There are two students sitting beside me here, the uh, Charan and Shashi. Did you remember that what we have talked in the previous class, students? Charan? Electricity. Electricity. Current. Current and itself. Very good. That's good. Charan, you have very good intelligence and memory power. Good. That's nice. And keep it up. Okay. And Shashi? Current, current and, and its electricity. effects right and also we have uh, gone through uh, some diagrams in the chapter and we have gone through some you know uh, live experiments as well okay and in this video that I would like to start a new chapter what new chapter, new chapter. after seventh lesson eighth lesson that I am going to start. Before revealing the name of the chapter, uh, I would like to ask some questions. Yes, students, uh, I would like to ask these students, those who are sitting here and uh, the students, those who are watching this video also, please uh, try to mention the answer in the comment section, students. Okay, that's good. Next, Charan, can you tell me that what is this season? Summer is arrived, okay, and uh, what do you feel if, you know, it, it's so hot, how do you feel? Discomfort. And Shashi, tell me if you feel discomfort, uh, what do you expect? You expect some comfort, and how do you get your comfortness? Ah, yes, you try to open the windows and you try to switch on the fan and you try to switch on the cooler and you try to switch on the AC, etc. Different electrical appliances there that to make us comfort or feel, you know, make, uh, make us to feel comfort. Okay, so to feel ourselves cool and to feel very comfort, we have to get some cool air that's nice so we have to get some air you know students did you ever see how the air is you know did you ever see how the air is no no shashi did you ever see charan did you ever see how the air is no no but how do you say that there is no air. How do you say that there is air like that? Very good. With your feelings. Okay. With your feelings. And by seeing the moment of the leaves of a tree and by the moment, by seeing the moment of the clothes moving on the rope. Huh? And what else? Tell me. Branches. Uh, branches. Moment of the branches. Huh? Dust. Yes, sometimes dust fly in the, you know, air. in open air, right? That air in the sense, uh, we usually talking about, we are actually talking about air, but dust you see without anything around it, you know, where the dust is then, the dust, you say that the dust is in the air, yes? What is making that dust to fly? Air. Air. Very good. And even some uh, aeroplanes also flying with the help of what? Air. air. The meaning in the word itself, you know, air, airlines, sometimes you use the word, you know, airlines, airlines in the sense, what? Aeroplanes. And that related to the air, aero, a, airport. Yes. Airport. 
you know the word it's which is related to air okay and with uh, that which get some advantage with air okay so we cannot see air but we can feel we can what we can feel how do you feel mm, by sensing by sensing okay students we get you no know, we we feel we get some feeling with the air when you know it's my mic you know students if i wanted to uh, see whether this mic is working or not sometimes i blow my air like this that means it's giving some hearing sound you know you can hear some sound and even some i will display a video uh, i will show a video uh, you can see that some sound you can see what sound may be that the sound is air sound okay i use only air 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 here and later on the term will be changed that i will tell you how the term is changed okay see you cannot see anything between the mic and my mouth you cannot see anything yes you hear some sound right by hearing by feeling and you know what else uh by seeing the movement of the branches and by seeing the movement of the dust by flying paper in the flying covers in the open areas who is making them fly air is making them fly okay students like this you can understand air is there there are few activities students there are few activities to understand uh, the presence of air okay and here before getting into detailed concept uh, i would like to give you an illustration illustration in the sense it's an exemplar explanation okay an explanation with an example like you know if you are riding a bicycle if you are riding a bicycle if the air is moving in the direction you know opposite direction to your moment you know if you are riding a bicycle in this direction and the air is moving opposite to your direction then how do you feel shashi tell me how do you feel so, do you feel uh, that do you feel comfort riding no. you don't feel comfort riding right how do you feel it's little difficult riding right it's little difficult charan right yes, yes. how and if you change the direction of your riding that means if you ride in the same direction of the wind direction then how do you feel so much comfort you you feel little comfort riding because you feel little comfort riding because because uh, the air force is added to your riding force your force right air moving air you know the direction of the wind and your riding direction direction of your riding bicycle is in the same direction if they are in the same direction then the force is added to one another then then you know the riding will be very easy and very comfort okay students have you got it so you to try to mention uh you know different examples different examples where the moving air help us in which activities okay students those who are watching this video you too please uh, mention few examples where the moving air helps us and where moving air makes us difficult okay like that okay students now uh <coughs> you know not only that students uh air sometimes it's very cool and very hot and it makes what we are talking about air students 
it makes it makes things move yes hmm what else and it also gives pleasant experience pleasant experience okay students and students we are talking about air which is in some moment okay we are talking about what air which is in some moment moving air you know we are talking about what moving air and one thing you remember students air never be steady okay air, air never be steady that always that always keep on moving okay that always keep on moving in multi dimensions okay here you you cannot say the air always moves in this direction or in that direction like that air moves in different direction there is no specific direction to say air always moves in this direction only okay right there you cannot say the air moves only in the particular direction but it random direction it moves always in da, in, in 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 the random directions okay students have you got it air always moves in random directions okay got it so here there is a technical term in science that moving air is called what do we call the moving air you know students did you yes shashi and charan both of you do you know yes sir charan yes can you tell me what is moving air called as wind wow excellent <laughs> moving air is called as you know wind moving air is called as wind okay students in general moving air air always moves i said right yeah. but that is called as wind okay and you know sometimes sometimes students uh, if the wind is moving in in you know very speed and which causes which causes disasters you know wind sometimes not only move in a normal motion it moves in a speedy motion and then that cause damages that may cause you know sometimes that may cause damage of lives and damage of property and you know what do we call that you know if the wind moves in a speedy manner and then that causes damages yes and along with rains sometimes wind moves in a speed and then that cause damage along with rains what do we call that you know Thank you. very good what do we call that cyclones students what lesson are we talking about air winds and cyclones air winds and cyclones is the chapter that we are talking about have you got it students what are we talking about shashi air winds and cyclones air winds and cyclones and its effects as well okay students this is how we can understand how the air and winds and cyclones are but we will talk in detail in the coming classes and how do we find the air how do you find the presence of air of course uh, by seeing uh, the things you know moment of the things and by feeling hot or cool or pleasant like that you may feel and say that there is air but there are few experiments to find the presence of air that we will talk in the next video students i hope you all understood this video
if you have any doubts please give me a comment in the comment section and that will be your attendance as well okay and the links of the different other videos will be given in the description box as well students uh, you please click on them and watch complete videos there also okay this is for this video students thank you for listening thank you one and all